I don't always get it right, and this time I feel like a complete loser. I'm an idiot for passing up a big opportunity that I should have capitalized on when I was at CES 2026 in Las Vegas. I come across this company, Donut Labs, and I basically dismissed it because I've heard this claim of solid state batteries for years over years over years. And I thought it was just something that they were trying to push to say maybe a couple years down the road again. But then as I got looking closer at this, when I got back home, it says available today. And I should have pressed the issue with the company to learn more about this donut battery. I've heard of donut motors, but not the donut battery. And I guess this is new technology that was just released at CES 2026. And if this is the case, this is the biggest piece of news that was out of that convention over everything because if this is solid state battery technology that's available on the market and it is available today and they're claiming it's going to be anything from semi trucks to drones this is going to change the way that we put batteries in things my first question is if it's this great of technology how much will it cost well first let me tell you how great they're claiming this to be 400 watt hours per kilogram is their energy density. That is significantly higher than anything that is on the market right now. So we're gonna get a smaller battery with basically more power in it or the same size battery with double the capacity in it. And it could charge in full charge in five minutes. That's extremely fast. And uh, <laughs> this one really blows my mind. It's designed for 100,000 cycles. That means if you buy this battery, you're never gonna to have to buy it again because it's 100,000 cycles. Currently, what we have in the market is four to 6,000 cycles at 80% or 70%, depending on how they grade their batteries. Now, is that 100,000 to 80% or is that 100,000 to 0%? It doesn't really say it on this card and I should have pressed for more information when I was there. That's my bad. And I promise you that I will try to get more information on this and bring you more about this donut battery going forward. But we'll also talk about it is capable of going negative 30 Celsius to 100 Celsius with 99% capacity. That is significant. That's better than anything that we have come across to this point. And it's built with green materials. Although they're not really saying what those green materials are. And even when the uh, CEO is pressed about this, they just basically say green materials and it's stuff that they don't want to release right now. They know that people are going to open up these batteries and eventually they're going to find out. But this is how that they could build the battery. Now, how are they going to be able to offer us all of this for less than what the current batteries cost? That's lower cost than lithium ion. Um, that's where I am a little skeptical. We're getting all this great technology, everything extremely great on this. It checks all the boxes to be a perfect battery for what we have available to us. So this surpasses anything on the market and they're going to bring it to us cheaper than what we have on the market. That's where I'm very skeptical and I would love to head pressed on that issue because even with sodium ion and I'm not the biggest believer in sodium ion, but I do believe that that technology can push us forward in a certain direction for certain environments, but they claimed it to be cheaper. But when I did my power station test, that power station costs more than what the LFP power station costs. So how are they going to bring us this battery that is superior to anything close to it for less than what's on the market? Let me roll a little bit of footage here from the CEO from Donut Labs, I guess this was a marketing video that they had put out for the show and I didn't see this until I got back to the house and I was looking through my documentation of all the companies that I visited and all of these booths that I walked through. So this is an extremely busy environment to record in and to get information. So most of the time you have to have a uh, schedule set up with a representative at the company to get a good interview with them to learn more about this. And I should have pressed the issue 
to get more information about that. And I want to apologize again because it is my job to bring you the latest and greatest on battery technology. And I feel like I failed to get you that at this show. And I will do everything in my power that is capable that I can do to get my hands on one of these batteries if that's even possible. They say it's available today. If it is, I will try to get my hands on it and do some testing on it and see at least if we're getting that 400 watt hours out of per kilogram and compare it to some LFP batteries. So 100,000 cycles charging in five minutes. This is almost too good to be true. Let's see what the CEO had to say about this. Hi, I'm Marco, co-founder and CEO of Donut Lab. Today, Donut Lab is presenting a no compromise, all solid state battery. Not hybrid, not semi-solid, and not solid state-ish, but all solid state. Ultra high energy density, the fastest charging time, practically unlimited cycles, extreme safety, and lower price than lithium ion. And there's one more part because Performance alone isn't the full story anymore. The battery is also 100% green, made from materials that are found everywhere, not rare materials and not geopolitically constrained materials, which in today's world is more important than ever before. So the obvious question is, are we shipping this in 2029 or 2030? No. These batteries are available today. Not just available for OEMs to look at in the lab and not just available to prototype with, but available for real production. In fact, today we are making history because Donut Battery is the world's first solid state battery in production vehicles shipping to customers. Okay, but what does it cost? Because if it's amazing but expensive, it stays niche, and niche doesn't make combustion irrelevant. So we made a decision early. This cannot be a luxury technology. It has to be lower priced than lithium ion. Not someday, and not as a future promise, but structurally and from day one. This is the moment combustion stops competing and starts becoming irrelevant. Thank you for your time and welcome to what's next. Now that you've heard what the CEO had to say, do you believe that this battery is available right now? And leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Do you think that this is actually gonna come in cheaper than what we have on the market? I wanna start that discussion because they're making this promise that it's gonna be cheaper than lithium ion I would love to see where we could purchase these batteries because they're claiming it's going to be everything from drones to semi trucks. So that means home energy backup and everything else, portable power stations, all of that should start to come and get cheaper. Now, whether the tariffs cause that price to go up or down, I don't know. You know, it's just something we have to wait and see and to see if the promise is actually factual or if it's just another letdown.